What's up? What's up? Built from Hollow's Corner 101. Just got done uh, walking around with Ray. Everybody said it. I said I gotta talk to you. Well, let me tell you this. We met up with the guy from the advertising uh, deal. Move this out of the way. This is annoying me. And the first thing the guy says to me is, "Hey, I know you. Didn't you used to work for uh, for John Wheeler?" Yes, sir, I did. So I can see my boss's face. You, you know him? Yeah, I tried to tell you. People know me. It's not, you know, I don't know who knows me, but I know I'm known. It's not like they don't know who I am. But I was glad to see that happen because it just shows I'm not lying. I'm telling you I am known around here. I said, remember Mayor Heller? Said, yeah. You you know Max Heller is. I said, I'm the plumber that fixed that. Me and Sam Coleman from Mr. Ruta did that whole deal with with the plumbing. And then he said, uh, and Sam, if you ever see this, I gotta say thank you very much to you. Um, he said that he talked to you about me and you said, if you can get him in the door, he'll make you money or something to that effect. And I, I gotta thank you, Sam. Appreciate that. Um, he goes, you know, I, I didn't really check your references. I was helping to see Sam. I said, Check my references. I told you check them. And that's why I got into the Max Heller or Mega Heller deal. But um, then this guy we run into with the Val Pack, he goes, hey, he goes, I know you. You used to work for John. Yeah, you know me. And he started telling him. So then we got on to, after everything was said and done, I handed him my pay stub. I said, hey, what is this? He goes, I don't know. What is it? I said, exactly. You don't know what it is because you can't tell by looking at a blank piece of paper. I said, that is my pay stub. What is it? He goes, well, he goes, you know, the first couple of weeks, that's how we do it. I said, so you first, you're telling me the first couple of weeks I don't have taxes taken out? He says, yeah. I said, then we have an even bigger problem than I originally thought. Let me describe this problem to you. That check is not only short with taxes out, it's way short without taxes taken out. He goes, well, you know, we figured out the hours as to what we thought you should be doing. I said, no, Ray, I gave you the hours that I worked. That's what I expect to get paid on. Can't pay me any less than you're already paying me, which is nothing. I mean, come on now. Want me to pay you to come to work? So we'll see. It's not like I'm staying here much longer anyway. I just, I just found out a friend of mine is getting ready to go back to uh, to New York. Not that I completely agree with why he's him going back, but I I, uh, I get it because I'm getting out of here myself. I'm gonna be uh, see road to sign. He wants he wants to make Mr. Bruder man a Whatever. You gotta get the billboards, you gotta get the advertising. Anyway, I'm not going back to New York, but I am gonna probably try places like Jersey or something, something closer. Back up north for sure. Uh, but my friend has got a pretty good deal up there. Actually, I gotta, I gotta have a talk with him about uh, work. I wanna see what he was offered. Union, so it's gotta be pretty good money. Bottom line, I'll go talk to clients over here, but I don't feel like I should have to do that. I'm the plumber. I'm the guy that shows up at the door. That's my job. You know, my best asset is in somebody's living room. I'm a killer. And I'm not saying I'm a shark. I don't sell plumbing that does not need to be done. But I will sell you on the concept of letting me do the plumbing that needs to be done. You know, and nine times out of ten, just under nine times out of ten, 88 percent to be precise, I get that job. And we were talking about, um, you know, going to that one customer and selling a four thousand dollar job compared to doing five or six two hundred dollar jobs. And I said, yeah. I go, what about it? He goes, well, you know, you get once in a while you're going to get that that big one. Most of the time it's going to be that two hundred dollar job. I said, that's not me, man. He said, you can call. And that's how we got on to call Mr. Ruder, and he'll tell you the truth. And he said he called Sam. I said. I wasn't that guy. Now, other guys at Mr. Reuter and TSC and Benjamin Franklin and all these other companies, that's what they'll do. But uh, that's not what I do. That's him right in front of us. How'd you get in front of us, right? Now I gotta go past this thing. So, nevertheless, I don't even know if you know from behind him. Nevertheless, he goes, and he smiled like, uh, you know, you're BSing. I'm not BSing, I'm telling you the truth. Let him go, make his turn, make his turn. What's
What took you so long to get past here, Ray? Man. What took you so long to get past? Now I gotta go around this fucking long way? Come on. Really gets it. I think Ray is missing it. You have a you have an asset with me. That's what I am. Uh, actually, Sam, if you're ever watching this, I heard that he offered you a job. What do you got here? Go. I heard that you offered you a job. You did the right thing. I said, I laughed. I said, Sam's never going to beat Mr. Ruder. I mean, that's family owned business. It is? Yeah, but even if it isn't, they're paying him what he's, you know, what he's worth over there. They're giving him, they're giving him a good salary. Not that they're giving you enough. I don't know what you make, Sam, but I know, but I'm sure, I'm hopefully they're paying you a good pay. You know, there's no way in hell he's going to be able to match that or even make it greater to make it worth your time. He supposedly did that with me, and I haven't seen it yet. We'll see. But like I said, I have not seen it yet. I just asked him about coming all the way up there tomorrow just to go to this meeting. Well, let me call you. I mean, I'll be up there later to get my check, but I'm not going to come up there at fucking 7 o'clock in the morning just to go back home and come back up again. Now, I went down the road, turned around. Guaranteed, I still meet up with him. He left 15, 15 minutes before me, and I met up with him right here. Because Ray gets on it. Ray, Ray drives like a, like a typical older man, 20 miles an hour. Really? You're on the main road here. you got to gotta move. I just know that I can make a better living. It's more expensive to live back up north, but I made enough to live up there. Now, when I worked for myself, I made plenty of money up north. When I worked for other companies, the cost of living was a little high. Um, but now with my experience, I can go in and make a, a lot more. I can go in the union to be a service plumber and just make a killing. I have to take care of my family. Bottom line, this area is not cutting it. Oh, this is what he says to me. He goes, this is after we got done talking about my clothes rate and all that. He goes, yeah, you know, your, part, your thing is you're a Yankee. You got to be a little more Southern. I said, my ass, I don't change who I am for anybody. He said, they never stopped me or hindered me in any way before, Ray. Right? I ain't about to change now. You know, if I'm a little more Southern, that's a phony. I'm not going to be a phony. Part of the appeal of hiring me is the fact that I am a northern trained plumber. Not a southern trained plumber who is, and I'm not saying he's a hex, but a lot of you don't know the modern day codes because you're going off of whatever it used to be back in the day. That's not who I am. I came from a very strict uh, foundation, I'll put it that way. The, the townships were extremely strict where I came from. You gotta do things right. And even then, sometimes the inspector would make you cut it out just because he didn't like the way you did it. Completely legal, it might be. He'd still make you cut it out. You don't find that down here. Oh, I swallowed all my Gatorade and I got to take... Um, anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. I want to quick call my friend Kevin, see if he can get on the phone. This is Bill from Hollow's Corner 101. I'll see you, talk to you in a minute, Kevin, if you answer the phone. Later.